Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so <laughs> what I'm seeing here is a person who's in a lot of pain over this connection, okay? Um, you could have been dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is definitely someone from your past. And they're being told by spirit, the higher font is out here, strong, showing this person um, yeah, that they gave you, they, or they gave this person wish fulfillment. The higher font is saying, look, we know you're in pain. We know you're hurting over the collective, but you have to understand you were given a choice between wish fulfillment and actual love here, a blessing in love that would have led to um, the fulfillment of your wishes in the future, right? You, we, we, you were given a choice. Um, we showed you this. We handed you real love, but all you wanted was passion. All you wanted was lust, moments of personal gratification. When you, you passed up the chance at forever in wish fulfillment for moments of personal gratification, and spirit is like, we kept your wish fulfillment hidden from you. We kept the collective hidden as far as who you are and this connection, right? Because it was a test. It was a test to see what they would choose. Would they be tempted by passion or would they choose their um, holy grail couple love, which is right here, that would have led to wish fulfillment in the future, okay? This person chose poorly. They didn't see the value in your cup of love. I feel like they were a player before, and now they're just an emotional mess in King of Cups energy, okay? In a lot of pain, being defeated. People are looking at this person like, wow, you're... Um, you're not the same person you used to be, man. You know what I mean? Um, they're looking at this person like they're falling apart. Like, what's wrong with you? This isn't like how you normally act. I kind of get the sense that this person came to you in, in King of Wands energy, right? Kind of fiery, feisty, passionate, going after things that they want, um, making... Um, impulsive decisions right not thinking things through but you know going after the things that they want with a passion taking that kind of action this person is now they're like down this is man down this is somebody who's in so much pain they don't really want to talk to anybody they don't want to take part in anything joyful they don't want to join in any celebrations with anybody they don't want to go out they don't they don't want to answer any phone calls or text messages they're just really right now they're feeling sorry for themselves you know they're they're um writhing in self-pity basically is what they're doing and spirits like look we gave you a choice we gave you the holy grail cup of love knowing it would lead to wish fulfillment but instead you wanted passion and that's what you chose you missed out you missed out on a blessing that you didn't recognize you know so yeah you could be a cancer Maybe even a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah, and then they turn their back on you. I feel like this person's been getting their karma too. They're, they've been waiting for their ships to come in or waiting for something good to happen in their life. But I feel like ever since they left you behind, they've had nothing but stagnant energy. Like no new things are coming in for them, right? No good opportunities. If they were waiting for money, they're not getting that. If they were waiting for um, their blessings to roll in, they're not getting them. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck, because this was a, tw a twin flame connection. This person could be a divine masculine that's now being stripped of things, okay? And now they don't want to let you go. They can't stop thinking about this connection. It may appear to you that they don't care that they've got their back turned, that they, they don't, um, you know, they're showing little or no interest at all. 
right? All but all this person does is watch you. All they do is hurt over you. Okay, um, I feel like they're they're watching you really close on on a computer. So it's something that you're doing in the public eye. It could be um, social media. You could have your own platform. They may be seeing that uh, new love is coming in for you. I feel like this person was waiting to for the right opportunity to come forward. You know, they know what they did to you was horrible, and it hurt you deeply. Okay, yes. And I feel like um, they've been waiting for a point in your life where, you're, where you've are where you healed and you're not going to, like, fight with them, or you're going to be open to communication more. I feel like this person, they betrayed you so bad that maybe they felt like they just can't approach you yet, or they've been afraid. I feel like they've been waiting for the right time to come in, but they're getting blocked here. I feel like um, spirit has this person blocked from coming towards you. Yeah, they're blocked from coming towards an. Yes, they are in fact blocked from coming towards an empress, um, because all they've done is cause you nothing but um, heartache and betrayal, and this person refused to make it right. I feel like they left you feeling very used. Okay. So spirit won't let this person in now. If this was a divine masculine, I feel like um, they're, they're fallen from grace. Okay. They can't have the blessings um, that spirit had for them. Now I feel like you're getting the blessings. Yeah, and this person, they could have put you in some kind of competition. Um, they chose someone else over you, clearly. They chose, uh, it could be a karmic individual over an empress. You could be a Gemini, or maybe they chose a Gemini over you. I've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Gemini. Um, Cancer, Taurus, Aries, maybe Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for your energy. So, um, yeah, I feel like spirit wanted this person to make a choice and they didn't. They're, they're missing out on you, the nine of pentacles energy. Yeah, it, they chose this uh, queen of wands over you. Okay, this is somebody who they, ha they may have a, like a passionate relationship, definitely very sexual relationship. Okay. This is who they chose over you. They wanted that, um, that lust, that passion, and they passed up love and abundance. If they would have chosen you, the Empress, they would have been in Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles energy now. Yes, they would have had ultimate wish fulfillment had they given you a legitimate, law, like a committed offer, dedicated offer, okay? Because that's right now, you're single, collective. You're very abundant, stable. You could have your own business. Um, if you've got your own business, it's really doing well. Like, you're doing very well for yourself. You've gone through a major transformation. See, you were hidden underneath this person's nose. I feel like they underestimated you. They saw you as a peasant before. But now you've transformed. Um, right in front of them and they're seeing now um, it's almost like spirit is saying well the real divine feminine please stand up and that's you they're seeing who you really are they're seeing that they made a really bad choice here and so instead of being in the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups energy now they're suffering the ten of swords because they made a, a really poor choice in love they chose passion and lust and moments of personal satisfaction over an empress, the one that they should have been with. They know they should be with you. Yeah, they put you out in the cold. So spirit's not letting them back in. Spirit's reminding them, look, we gave you a choice. We handed you a blessing in love. 
and you chose passion and lust with this Queen of Wands energy instead. I kind of get the sense, too, that this Queen of Wands may have someone new on the side as well. I feel like she's she's got someone else behind the scenes, okay? And that's getting exposed. Um, yeah, I feel like your person, it's already been exposed or it's getting exposed. They're walking away from, from this Queen of Wands. I feel like this Queen of Wands is... Um, she may be very stressed out about that. She may be nervous, losing sleep. Yeah, this person is about to find out. They're, she's stressed out. She's worried that they're going to find out. Because once they do, this masculine's going to be walking away from her. They're going to get cheated on. Or they already are being cheated on. Yeah, see, and there's that fire energy. What did I say? I felt this King of Wands energy. Um... I just get the sense that this karmic, I feel like it's a karmic feminine that they chose over a divine feminine. And um, they've got somebody new here. Your person's going to be a mess. And they can't come back into you, um, towards you, right? They can't. The, the spirit is blocking them from coming back in. Yep, judgment call is being made. Yep, uh-huh, this person's under judgment. Spirit is saying this is, this is like the final judgment call on this connection because this person didn't know. See, they saw you as um, a peasant. They, they put you out in the cold. They thought you were always going to be in a financial struggle. You know, this is sometimes, um, uh, um, this energy here, this is empress energy, okay, or pre-empress energy. You were very um, underestimated, okay? And look at how you've transformed here. And you've transformed your money situation as well. You're extremely abundant. Yeah, because of how they disrespected and... Um, Put down an earth angel, a, a light worker, a divine being. They did improve their worth. Spirit had to make a judgment call on this. This is, this is, um, everything's kind of come full circle here. And Spirit had to say, okay, enough is enough. If this is what you want to choose, you want passion over a divine, your divine feminine, then fine. You know, I feel like this um, this masculine that left you behind, they're going to find out they were cheated on. They're going to feel very betrayed. They may have already found out. There's going to be a lot of gossip about this as well. Oh, boy. You're about to get a new king of pentacles. <laughs> You're about to get someone new, collective. And this person, they're looking at you already. So you've already got someone new in your energy. You may not know them yet, but they're spotting you. And this person is, they know you're the one for them right, right out the gate. They're already thinking of what life would be like if they were to commit to you. Okay, yeah, earth angel energy. Oh, see, the, this person didn't recognize you as an earth angel, but this new person does. So you're already spotted by your new person. Um, I feel like they're going to be, you're going to be very happy with this King of Pentacles. This could very well lead in the future to um, a marriage, building a family together. This is, they see you as somebody they can build a solid foundation with. You have all of the qualities, right? And all of, all of the qualities that they want in a person. And all of the queens in the deck. So you're every queen in the deck. And here's the thing. In order to build what you've built here. In order to create what, um, what, what has been successful for you here. You have to be motivated. Driven. Committed. Dedicated. Okay? You have to be smart. Business minded. Um... You've got to be strategic. You, you're doing something you love here, too, being spiritually led, and it's growing naturally, but you're holding it down. You know what I'm saying? 
you've got uh, you've got all the qualities in someone that this king of pentacles wants they want you okay so you've got someone new already entering into your energy And this new person, they could be a boss, a business owner. You could do the same line of work or you may, um, they may notice you at work. Okay. But they know, yeah. And I, I feel like you may not even talk to this person. This is somebody who's already noticed you. They're already watching you. You're being watched. This could be like a boss, a manager. Okay. And you're not saying a lot. Like, you kind of keep to yourself. I see you keeping to yourself. Um, they love the way you move. Like, um, you may walk past this person. Oh, and there's something about your perfume. <laughs> They're like, you know, they, they may like just sniff the air as you're walking by. I don't know. Um, you smell really good. I don't know who that's for, but you smell really good. Um, it's that scent. It lingers, right? Um, oh boy, there's something about your energy that this person is just pulled to. They love your scent. They love the way you move. They think you're sexy. They love the way you, you dress. They may even be kind of undressing you with their eyes, you know? Okay. Oh, they're totally taken by you. Um, they find you very mysterious, um, they, and you're very quiet, like they, you don't talk to this person, they want to get to know you, that mystery has got them, okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, so what else can you show me, there's something about the excitement that they feel, this new person, they feel some kind of excitement, in the fact that you're not talking or in the fact that you're so mysterious, right? It's like a feeling of anticipation. Oh, this new person has a lot of anticipation. Oh my gosh, you're turning them on, collective. They find you very sexy. Um, but they're holding back their communication right now. I feel like they like this. They like this feeling of just feeling out your energy, smelling your perfume, anticipating you. Um, I mean, I feel like this is someplace where you show up every day. So this could be a job that you have or someplace that you go. It could be like um, a, something like a gym or I don't know. I don't know what it is. You'll know, okay? But they like this. It's almost like all oh, the anticipation of getting to know you, getting closer to you, um, smelling your perfume. Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, and you're so beautiful out here. You could be um, you, you could be a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius. They find you very beautiful as well. But you're very calm, peaceful, quiet. And it's like they watch you when you're moving around in a room. I don't know where this is, you guys. It could be at work. Meanwhile, your ex over here is in a whole lot of regret for turning their back on you. Okay. They, they know they made the wrong choice. They can feel this energy, this... Um, it's like a stir in the energy. It's this king of pentacles. Oh my gosh. It's really sexy energy. I gotta say, <laughs> I'm really liking this guy and how they like, um, they're just like reveling in the moment, right? Um, that they love that anticipation. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, see, and spirit is just like, look, we gave you a choice. You juggled the collective. You, um, you treated them unfairly, you underestimated them, you tossed them aside, you put them out in the cold. This is your karma, pal. This is your karma. I kind of get the sense that um, their whole foundation is being shaken up right now. 
okay because you're getting a new a new love option they can feel this energy they can feel the vibrations from the ground okay oh but i i'm getting into this king of pentacles energy because it's really sexy how they just like i don't know they're remaining grounded and stable but they're completely hooked on you and they're loving this it's almost like i mean they're watching you they have a watchful eye over you they're watching your little subtleties like how you move and how you speak and how you smell and the changes that you make in your hair and the the way you i don't know um I don't know. They're just, they're, you're, you kind of feel like this precious, they feel like you're this precious person or this precious um, attraction for them. And they're just kind of learning you slowly, secretly. It's not creepy, you guys. It's actually really sexy. Okay. It is. It's hot. I got to say, it's really hot. Um, yeah, so I don't know who this is. This is somebody who's who's very confident, very down to earth as well. I love their energy. And you're going to love it too, man. All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Oh, this new person's energy. Oh my gosh, yeah. I feel like you're ending this last cycle with this person. It's over. Um, spirit won't let them come back in anymore. They've chosen... They chose passion over their divine being. That's what they chose. They chose fleeting moments of personal gratification over long time wish fulfillment. Okay, so they cannot come back in and you've got your boundaries up anyway. I feel like you're done with the past and you're ready for future love. And I'm telling you, oh my gosh, this person that's watching you, that's kind of crazy for you. Um, they're hot. That's really sexy energy. I don't even know how else to describe it. But they are, they're watching you close, smelling that perfume. There's something about your perfume. Okay, so keep wearing it because it lingers, right? They watch you move. They undress you with their eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, but they're, uh, they're falling for you hardcore. Okay. Okay. 